tonight the Giants clinch the division title two weeks ago tomorrow against the Arizona Diamondbacks here the uh, crowd had been given these rally towels that night and it can be awfully difficult sometimes to see a ball when you're on the field because of those rally towels. There's Bobby Valentine, whose Mets are back in the postseason, the first time in Mets history that the ball club has made two consecutive postseason appearances. Here's the Pepsi Mets batting order. Benny Agbayani in left field against the right handed Bobby Valentine said, hey, he's one of our best hitters. So he's in there. Jay Payton moves up to the number two spot, the slumping Derek Bell being dropped down. Edgardo Alfonso had another fine season at second base. Mike Piazza, the catcher, he says he's in better shape into the postseason this year than last. Robin Ventura at third base, he had a real down year. Todd Zeal, the veteran, a right-handed hitter, acquired to replace John Olerud at first base. Derek Bell, who finished with a, a horrible second half of the year in right field, batting seven. Mike Bordick, the former Oriole at shortstop, hitting eighth. And Mike Hampton, the veteran left-hander, on the mound. And on the mound with the Giants, Levan Hernandez, who was the MVP of the League Championship Series and the World Series, both in 1997, his first time in the big stage since then, Joe. Well, the one thing about Levan, he is not phased by all of this. He, he has pitched in big games in Cuba before, and he has pitched in big games here in the United States before. The great thing about him is that he keeps his composure. Even when he gets knocked around a little bit, he never quits. And I like that about him. He always seems to stay under control and his task today will be able to keep the ball in the big part of this ballpark and here's the defense and it's a pretty good defense I think a lot of people played better than people anticipated at the beginning of the season defensively and especially on the infield where Bill Miller played great at third Jeff Kent had a good defensive year at second they knew JT Snow was an excellent gold glove winner so this has been a much better defense than people realized at the beginning of the season. Bill Miller at third base and uh, Dusty Baker thinks he should win the gold glove at third base. First pitch is too high to Benny Akbayani. We are underway in San Francisco. Game one, the final series to get started in this year's division series. That's a call strike over the outside with a breaking ball. One ball and one strike. Levon Hernandez was 12 and 3 here. The Giants staff as a whole pitched much better here. Chased the high fastball. One ball and two strikes to Akbayani. The one thing that Hernandez does well is he will throw the breaking ball when he's behind in the count. That will keep the hitters from sitting on one pitch. One ball, two strikes. Missing with the slider on the outside. Two and two. How did he lay off that pitch? So far in this at bat, Agbayani has seen three different pitches fastball, curveball, and the slider. And truthfully, that's what you want to do as the leadoff hitter. Give your teammates a chance to see all of his pitches in your first at bat. And he's down on strikes. The high slider foul tipped into the glove of Estomeo. There is one away. Well, he came back with a slider. This is not nearly as good a pitch as the one before in that it's right in the middle of the plate. Doesn't break that much. You see the target down the way. It's actually a hanger, but Agbayana over swings and swings right through it. 